Craters of the Moon features the largest lava field in the lower 48 with a variety of landmarks like cones, lava tubes, and hardened rocks after the lava cooled from eight different eruptions over the past 15,000 years with the latest happening 2,000 years ago. We're so glad that we stopped because it's, it, I think I would have cried if I missed it. It's beautiful. Well, welcome to a completely unique world here at Craters of the Moon because we're going to go explore some caves. <laughs> <laughs> this set of stairs drops people into Indian Tunnel and to explore the caves, you need to get a free permit at the visitor center. They will have instructions for you as Craters of the Moon tries to protect bats from white nose syndrome. But I didn't see any bats when I went to the right side of the tunnel. Just a whole lot of dark. Yeah, it's kind of dark in here. It's not really... You want to make sure you have a light. If you go left, you don't even need a light. But take your time and watch your step because it's all on uneven ground with any fall landing you on rocks. But it felt like nature's air conditioning as it's much cooler down in the tubes. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> After 800 feet, you can pop out. That's cool the other side of the tunnel and up to the surface and back into the vast lava field where several hiking trails await. I'm mentally prepared for it to be hotter than blazes, but it didn't end up being that bad with a little help from the wind. Oh my God, I hesitated. You know, kind of old, out of shape, um, but it was easy. We saw Benny Gonzalez after she climbed to the top of the Inferno Cone, giving her one of the best views at Craters of the Moon. Oh, when I got on top, all the heart beating and the heart breathing, it was worth it. It's beautiful. You can see everything, 360 view. Craters of the Moon, a geological wonder with a violent past, a calm present, and an uncertain future. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.